Uh, hello friends, I'm glad you decided to join me. Today we're going to continue to address foods that Americans eat too much. We're going to zero in in salt, the white uh, gold. And let's look at the objectives. So today we're going to uh, look at salt uh, throughout history. We're going to look at uh, what is salt anyway, uh, why is vital to our life, where do we get it from, and if uh, salt is so vital to life, uh, what's the problem? Uh, again, salt has played a very important role in history. It has been used as a currency, a store of value, the food industry as a preservative, and in medicine. And here is uh, Roman soldiers that were actually paid at least portion of her um, uh, salary in uh, salt. And here is a uh, chapel in Poland uh, built uh, inside a salt mine that I was uh, fortunate to see with a couple of uh, Polish friends a few years ago. And uh, here uh, Venice uh, gained its prominence because they had a monopoly in the white gold and the salt. But anyhow, what, what is salt anyhow? Uh, salt, you know, it's just stable uh, salt. It's 40% sodium and 60% chloride. So, uh, if you look at this picture, one uh, teaspoon of salt is about 2300 milligrams of sodium. And uh, again, sodium is absolutely uh, vital uh, to our, our uh, health. Uh, we have uh, different types of salt. So obviously have garlic sauce, uh, kosher salt, Himalayan salt. They are, they are all the same. They, are, uh, they have the same amount of salt. The difference they have other trace minerals that give them an extra flavor or color. The pink color, for instance, on Himalayan salt comes from traces of uh, iron. So where do we get our sodium uh, from? Uh, we got uh, our sodium from you know, our diet. So. Uh, and again, it's essential for every function, every single cell in the body and uh, crucial for nerve and the muscle function, maintains blood pressure and the volume status as well. And here is a diagram of a potassium, uh, sodium potassium pump that is very important on each cell to maintain the balance between the sodium and the potassium intracellular and the extracellular. Uh, fluid. And here is an example of a uh, uh, nerve ending uh, showing its connections to uh, uh, muscle fibers that lead to muscle uh, contraction. And uh, so where our sodium comes from? 71% uh, comes from processed foods and restaurant foods. Let me repeat that. 71% comes from processed foods and restaurant foods. So at the table the salt shaker is only 5%, home cooking only accounts for about uh, 6%. It's very important because on the next video we're going to talk uh, ways of uh, decreasing the amount of sodium in our diet. Obviously we'll have to concentrate where the money is, the processed foods and the restaurant uh, food. And let's dig a little bit more in uh, detail. Uh, in the US, more than 40% of the sodium people eat comes from uh, these 10 types of uh, processed foods. Again, you have uh, the deli uh, and the meat sandwiches, the pizza, the tacos and burritos, the uh, soups and the uh, chips uh, and so on. On uh, this slide again, the same thing. Sandwiches are a big uh, contributor to uh, the sodium. And if you look at the standard American diet, again, it's a mixed dishes, uh, sandwiches and burgers, tacos, pizzas, and uh, meat and uh, poultry account for the most of the sodium in our uh, diets. And it's very important to realize that uh, uh, about 9 in 10 Americans uh, get uh, uh, too much salt. And what the problem is, too much salt will lead to hypertension and then will aggravate and cause heart attacks and strokes and even be responsible for, uh, the, for dementia. And let's look at uh, uh, this slide uh, that I call the anatomy of a sandwich. And if you look on the uh, left hand side and you have just on the top 
uh, one slice of bread has 200 milligrams of sodium, so bread at the bottom has another 200. Uh, one teaspoon of, of mustard uh, has 120 milligrams, one slice of cheese 310, and six slices of turkey has 690 milligrams of uh, sodium. And if you look on the right side, even if you pick the lower sodium options, you still in the sandwich you end up with 917 milligrams of sodium. It's quite a bit. Here's a picture of uh, Salzburg, and uh, the word actually means uh, uh, salt castle in, in German. And uh, let's look at the, the big question. We said, how much salt, how much is too much? Should we have, how much salt should we have in our diet? How much is too much? And the dietary guidelines for Americans, 20-25, they put the limit at less than 2300 milligrams. The American Heart Association puts the limit, the limit at 1500 milligrams. The average American eats at least 50% more and sometimes 100% 100 uh, more. And this again has implications for uh, heart attacks and strokes and uh, high blood pressure. It's uh, quiz time. Let's look at uh, the first uh, question. So uh, let's look at uh, uh, what Americans uh, do not eat enough. We've been talking about what Americans eat too much. Let's look at what Americans don't eat enough. Again, uh, we'll answer this on the next uh, video. Uh, one more uh, question. Which of the following uh, are signs that you're eating uh, too much salt. Again, we answer that in the, our next video. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's take control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, make a comment and ask questions. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. I'm publishing a video on the second and fourth Friday of each month. And see you on next video.